We about to get busy. Every week in and week out, we prophesy the downfall of America and to put these Edomites, the so-called white motherfuckers, into slavery. You know? That's right. And that's what I said the Lord. That's prophecy. You know, but right now we come out here, we're trying to wake up the elect. We're called fishing. This is what you call fishing. The fish. You know, when you're 16, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Jeremiah 16 and 16. It says, Behold, I was sent for many fishers, says Yahweh, and they shall fish them. The many fishermen are spread around the four corners of the earth. It ain't just us looking up, looking like fools, right? <laughs> it ain't just us looking like fools, because that's how they look at it, it's like fools. But we're fools for Yahweh, but shouldn't Yahweh shall I say? That is right now, like you said, we out here fishing, trying to yep. wrap their left. And everybody can't be in the left. A woman can't be in the left. Nope. I don't give a fuck if you're an, uh, you, you an Israelite or not. You know, the head nigga woman in the hood, you know. Nope. The head nigga woman in the hood. But go ahead, read, bro. It says, and after, well, I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain. That's right. He's going to send for many hunters after this fishing is done. After we after, after we finish filling those nets up, 144,000, you know. From every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. That's what we're going to hunt them at, right? Got Esau. Esau hiding in the secret bunkers and shit. No, they say the elites, the rich, the rich and the fame, the rich and famous are invested heavily right now into uh, doomsday bunkers and all that, man. Stockpiling food, weapons, and talking shit. We're gonna kill them niggas because that's what they said. We're gonna kill them niggas. Because they know some in their spirit is telling them that, you know, niggas gonna leave the inner city, man. They're gonna need to eat. Because ain't gonna be no food, ain't gonna be no storefronts. Ain't gonna be no uh, uh, semi trucks backing up. He, just like that sound, backing up. He, he, he. Oh, motherfucker, put, uh, get the pallet, get the pallet jack, jack that motherfucker up. He's taking all the pallets, loads of food, man. All oh, this just coming to the end, man. America is living rich in her delicacies for that short amount of time, man. But soon it's about to come to an end. I got a precept. All that man is coming to an end. These people waste food, man. Dude. They did a report the other day on the, the food that America wastes every day, man. It's in the millions. <laughs> millions of dollars of food is just wasted, man. These fast food restaurants, when the day ends, man, you go look in the dumpsters. A lot of them just, they just throw a lot of that food. You know, that shit is poisonous anyway. Kentucky Fried Chicken invests in a, what they call it, spider chicken. Yeah, they got eight wings. Don't <laughs> you right. That's some crazy shit, man. Spider wings. Spider chicken. I heard that's why they call it KFC, and it's not Kentucky Fried Chicken, it's KFC. KFC. I heard man. they're not allowed to call it chicken. Right, right, okay. I try not to eat that shit, man. I'm serious. I try not to eat it, but sometimes I do, man. Well, all the food's polluted. That's some crazy shit, man. No one is going to make a spider chicken. They had to pick the jeans out of a spider or octopus. You don't even know what got it, you know, growing up the limbs, man. You never know what it is, man. You can easily find out if you want to find out, though. If it's still octopus, because octopus got many legs or spider. You know Angelina. Oh, hell. Mill millipedes. Different bugs got uh. many legs, man. And you ever look at a millipede or a centipede? That's, that's, creepy. that's two different bugs. Yeah. It looks nasty. They yeah, look that nasty. dumb up is creepy. Right. We, they defeat. He consuming us. He, he got us consuming that shit. This devil falsely accused us, man. So he's saying to the most high, see your people eating all kind of abominable foods. Look what your people doing. Look what your people doing. Yep. You know, like the most high of food. Like the most high don't see this motherfucker in his laboratories, you know, under the microscope, seeing how they can split genes and mix it with this one and this one and that. You know they lift the law on it. They lift the law on uh, human animal DNA mixture. It's legal now. It's legal now, man. And plus, I think they too, they uh, they put a, they got a patent on the human, human genome too. Yeah, I got a precept for you on that business, though. What's up, fellas? Y'all ain't trying to fish, man? Y'all huh? ain't trying to fish? What's your name? We're fishing. This is what we're doing. This is called fishing. Oh. This is called fishing, man. Doing the Lord's okay. work, bro. Okay. You know? So, you ain't, you know, you on your way being a man of the Lord growing that beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas. Yeah. We see them every week from big ass bitches, man. That first one was a dude. <laughs> I know for yeah. oh, Domination, man. 
Those are probably dudes. <laughs> they are. They're probably dudes, man. Hey, but you just don't know. Columbus That's why. Hot with that. The men yeah. walk around that you can't even tell the difference. Columbus is hot with that, man. You know? Especially just last Jake week, too. dude beat up a bitch. What? He fucked this bitch, man. Look. And he said afterwards he found out she was a dude. You ain't you mean to tell me you fucking the bitch in the ass and you, and you ain't know it's a dude? That look like a clown right there, man. Hey, let me get a scripture before he gets up here. I'm gonna get a Matthew uh four and uh seventeen. For that time Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. What's up, homie? What's going on, man? Vocab. My name is Vocab. Vocab, you know who you are, Vocab. Dab it up, bud. Yeah. So, did you see him? Did you see I got you. Muslims <laughs> give you a left hand. That's what they do. If you shake a Muslim's hand, they give you a left Muslim. hand. No, I'm not saying. I'm saying I'm it, used to that because Muslims, whenever I go to shake a Shalafi Muslim hand, they give me the left hand. That's the hand that's they the wipe the hand. Yeah. Right, right. A hardcore Muslim, they won't shake you. They won't shake your hand. Right. We ain't Muslim though. No, I know. I know what I'm saying. My man over there. Anyway. You condemn the hell out of Muslims. You know yes, sir. That's a good thing. Yeah. What condemning people is a good thing? Yeah, man. So yeah. you right here condemning people. The gospel condemns those who do not believe the good news, yes. All right, so why you got a problem with the Israelites? I don't buy the assumption that the Israelites, they call themselves Israelites, are necessarily Israelites. But even if I did, the main problem would be the focus on the law instead of the focus on Christ. That's, now, I noticed, but let me ask you a question, but who teaches the, the law salvation? The great Muslim doesn't teach that. No, no, I'm saying that's a problem, man. The Did, pro but salvation by law is, is a failed project. We know, we, we know that. Great Muslim does not teach that. <laughs> I hear that, but I don't see that. What do you mean you don't see it? Whenever I hear... The law is good for you, bro. Like Don't disagree. I don't disagree. So it's when, just not, it can't save you. That's all. We know that. And that's what... That's right. But whose righteous acts gets any man into heaven? None. Christ's righteous acts exactly. get we know us that. into heaven. We know that. But whenever I hear... GMS. I've never heard them focus on the grace of Christ. They get they get you know, knocked. The yeah. IUIC makes fun of them and calls them faith-based Israelites. No, I know that, but I mean everyone you know makes I mean? fun of everyone. You got, they call IUIC Christians and make fun of them. So, but the law is good. Even Paul, hey, get that scripture. Uh, it tells you that in Romans seven, bro. He said the I, law I don't is disagree good. that the law is okay. good. But the question is, what's its purpose? Look, for real, this is a real question. What do you guys believe the purpose of the law is? It's, the law is for the flesh. The law is to govern the flesh. Okay, do you believe it's a tutor, though? Of course it's a tutor. All right, so what's a tutor do? It teaches you. Until? Right, so it's like this. The law is here to govern the flesh, but we're not in the flesh. We're in the spirit. All right. So See what I'm since saying? the law is a tutor, Christ comes along, and now the tutor is no longer needed as a tutor in the same way. But the, what I see is people talking about you got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments yes, to attain salvation. No, we didn't say that. Say if that's true, then you guys. But the Lord Himself said you got to keep. keep the, somebody came up to the Lord and said, "What right. should be saved?" He said, "Keep the commandments." Let me read this for you, real quick. I, bro. That's true. My question. That's a good point. That's a good scripture to bring up. What do you think Christ's point was when He brought that scripture up? What do you think He was trying to do with that man? Because you and I both know Christ always had an objective with a question, right? He was going somewhere. He, what Let's, do you think his point was, though, to get that young ruler to see? Listen, the, the commandments is to keep us from animals, you know, to, to, to be like an animal mindset. Right. State, you you can't, we, we can't live in lawlessness. I, I'm, I'm not an antinomian. Like, can you, I can agree. You, do you agree with having sex with your mother? Do you agree having sex with a little boy? and, and No, nah, because so as that? a Christian, we follow Christ, right? The answer is question though. Do you believe that? Well, the answer to that is no, because we All follow now Christ. You're keeping the law. You're keeping the law. I'm not anti-law. The question is... The question is, what's the law's intended purpose? Number one. Number two, can anyone really keep the law? Well, we know, no, we can't keep the law. You sure going to, that don't mean that, but do you like, keep I the can't law keep the perfectly? I mean, it's impossible. Exactly. exactly. That's why we need Christ. We know that. All I'm saying is a big problem with a lot of the groups I see is I don't see the focus on Christ. Yeah, I always see anything. Yes, sir. Revelation, I mean, not Revelation, Romans 3, and uh, I'm going to start at uh, 30. Points in 31. Seeing is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? God. God forbid. Amen. Amen. We establish the law. That's why we don't have sex with our mothers. 
That's why we, we're not homosexuals. Stop being adulterers. We don't commit adultery. We don't covet our neighbor's property. We don't eat pork because that's very unhealthy. Why, why Even neutral. Huh? What'd you say? Well, what? Why well, would well, perfect? Okay, so how does the Bible use the word perfect? Because I, I bet you guys would agree the Bible will use the word perfect in different instances in different ways. Do you Why think... Why was Job perfect? But do you think the Bible's saying there that Job never sinned? No. You're not when right, he, when right. When he learned, he turned away from his sins. Right. He and turned away. I That's agree. The, but he kept that law for the rest agree. of his life. But you, you think Job ever sinned the rest of his Job life? Kept his faith. He sinned. You yeah. know he sinned. Job kept That's why faith. he even said in Job, I need a go-between, right? Remember he said if somebody could come and mediate we know that. between me and the I don't even see the problem, bro, because we know that. But whenever I hear the main message of any given group, I never hear the faith placed upon Christ being the preeminent thing. Here's what I see being the preeminent thing. These signs right here. Yeah, yeah that's true. Why ain't none of these signs got the gospel on them? That ain't the gospel. That's just a, that's strictly a message of judgment from your perspective. Show me the gospel message on your sign. This right here? How's that the gospel? Gospel means you and Gellion. I didn't say it's not in the Bible. I said, where's the good news on your sign? This is the good news that the wicked gonna get burned. That's the bad news about the good news. Y'all ain't got the good news on your sign. The good news is gonna be depending on who you talk to. Where's the good news, my friend? That's so why, that's why there's a, you guys think it's an, on, an say, issue of skin? Too. It's an issue of skin. Let's say an order. Where's the good news on your sign? That's all I'm saying. I, I'm about to explain it to you. All right. We say the Lord's Prayer. Amen. What does the Lord's Prayer say? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom What's the name? come, thy will be done on earth as it Stop. is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Right. Now for the Lord's kingdom to come, that sign, where's that sign? Let me see that sign, bro. He's gonna establish it, no well, for doubt. The, for the Lord's kingdom no to come, this kingdom's gotta go. No doubt. It's gotta be destroyed. No doubt. I don't disagree. So how is that not part of the gospel? Okay. Now, now listen, but the Lord in Matthew 28. 1 Corinthians 15 breaks down the gospel to you. You just went to the Lord's Prayer. That's true, it's in the Bible, but that ain't the gospel. What did Matthew 28 the say? The gospel's a bigger story. What, what did Matthew it? 28 say? Well, it says a lot of things, but it says go Let's get go. it. He said go teach the gospel to all nations, all saying nations. the right. kingdom right. is at hand. And it says to teach them to observe so, all that I have commanded. Exactly. Right? All, what did he all command? Right. Here's the question. What is the definition of the gospel? Then? You cut yourself, bro. It's good news. This is good agreed. News agreed. So if I turn to 1 Corinthians 15, which defines the gospel, is it going to have that message on that sign? Let's it's go to 1 Corinthians 15. Many There's many messages. About. But where's the gospel clearly defined the in the Bible? Quick. Let me read the scripture real sure. quick. Sure. Real quick. Uh, uh, it's many, it's many, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's it's not just that's the real issue, y'all. I know I, I you think, guys think it's a different I think issue. you just mad because you, you caught up in the skin color thing so much. And that's never messing with, talk about And that's messing with your spirit. You never hear that's me talk about is. that. Ain't that what it is? You never hear me talk about that. Yeah, that's what it is. Hey, listen, it's like this. If there's the if there's an issue, I believe it would be the right thing to do is to bring up the real issue, not make up an issue. This is a real issue. Let me read this so my real issue is the gospel, not skin. Let me read this real quick. I'm hearing you. Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren. That have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Shai, not Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. Yeah, the, the, spirit, the testimony of God is the spirit of prophecy. Right. So, I don't disagree with that. Where I ain't seen you put up no prophecy videos about the destruction and the fire. Alright. Where, 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 you ain't never read no Malachi. <laughs> you ain't write out no, uh, yeah, no Isaiah 66 and 15. Mark of the Beast, I mean, I mean, like, you know. Alright, so. The gospel is defined though in 1 Corinthians 15. And here's what it is. Christ was died, died, right, for our sins according to the scriptures. We know this. He was buried and raised according to the scriptures. And then he appeared, right? We know that. How come none of that is on anything you promote? We talk about that every single time. We talk about it every day. You, if, it, if you guys talk about it, it ain't getting through as the main message, number one. Number two, you show your primary message by what you carry. That's your message right there. Your message ain't the gospel. You read these lines, you understand. Show me that chart in the gospel. I'm going to do I'm going to show you because you said bring it together on one. Stick. Who is the 12 tribes then? That chart ain't in the, the gospel. Who is the 12 tribes? Where are the 12 tribes at right oh, now? Oh, if we're the 12, 12 tribes, the two who is tribes, that? The two 12 tribes are Jesus is Christ's church. That's the true what complete, says that? That's the true completed house of Israel. Multiple times you see the Israel of God. That's two. That's not 12? No. Nah. The lost but, sheep. So what's a, you missed what's out a on the new covenant oh, there. So what's the olive tree? What? You got the olive tree, then you got the wild olive. It's all good, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm a sloppy, I'm a barbarian. So the Lord came for barbarians and the Scythians. 
See that? That's a good one right there. Google Wait, images of Scythian mummies. And who's the Scythian? Google their images. Well, who are they? Guess how they look. They're Israelites. This guy right here. Hey, you should Google. You, it's funny you brought so that tell up. Tell me what they look like. Google Describe images. Them. They got they some pale skin. Okay. Scythians are pale skin with some pale oh, hair. Okay, if you want to say up. that. All right, now, what does the scripture say about the laws of leprosy? The laws. Oh, you're unclean if you're a leper. No, but there's a clean form of leprosy. There ain't no clean form of leprosy. No, you not... gotta be cleansed. Hey, get it, get it. Leviticus 13. Are oh, you talking about the old covenant where no. the certain forms they would allow? You, you, you slipping, bro. Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 no. The no, Bible no. uses leprosy to describe a multitude of skin diseases, some of which are not the way we would think of modern leprosy. We so, yeah, that. sure, that's the case, but what's that have to do? You're telling me the Scythians are lepers? How do you catch leprosy? How did, uh, oh, uh, how well, did, leprosy how, you're thinking of how did, physical how did, Now explain but this. But leprosy is a broad term. How did King Uzziah? How did King Uzziah get leprosy? It was judgment. But how? What did he do? And I touched spiritual the fornication. Stuff. Through spiritual for, for through, through doing some spiritual wickedness, him taking on the duties of a priest and doing something wicked. Right. Now listen. Now the northern tribes of Israel, a lot of them, they was worshiping Baal. They were having True. orgies in the temples. Ooh. They was engaged in all kinds of spiritual. True. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. It is all gauging all kind of spiritual fornication, and they, you gonna catch leprosy doing that. That's how Michael Jackson caught leprosy. Hey, get that. This uh, is Leviticus 13. Well, hold on. Is that and your divorce? real, for real thing? You believe Michael Jackson caught leprosy? Yeah, well, his autopsy. He was a filthy his autopsy. You don't believe that he did that to no. himself? He, no, he was a filthy. Go look up his shit. autopsy. They did right. an autopsy and they proved he had a skin disease. Right. All right. Hey, look it up, bro. That's that's it's all a cool. That's kind of gospel you see issue. Walk yeah. with but again, notice how I brought up the gospel as a primary issue, and you guys start talking about Michael Jackson being white. The flow. That's the spirit. Where, that's is, how the the spirit Where is the that's gospel? How the in Michael, what's Michael Jackson's last name? That's mean? how the spirit works. Son of Jack. Hey, Jackson, hey, hey, Jackson, son of Jacob. Got your question? Oh, hey, hey, dude, hey, come hey, on. Hey, that's what it means. Jack comes from Jacob. Well, that's a slave name anyway, man. Ain't the gospel? Ain't the gospel? Ain't the gospel? Ain't the gospel trying to get the let together? Yes. It? So, and, and we scattered abroad, and we scattered abroad, right? Are we scattered abroad? Well, are we scattered abroad? Yes or no? Yeah or nay? The gospel's yeah or nay? Yeah or nay? Yeah or nay? Yeah or nay? Who's we, though? Who's we? Israel. 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 Are we scattered right. abroad? Yeah or nay? The elect are scattered abroad. The elect are who? What? The elect are all people, tribe, nation, tongue, Revelation 5. The That's elect are scattered abroad. Of the Israel, Israel physical Israel being scattered abroad is not the, the, the big gospel picture, man. It's the, the elect. Big gospel. The elect of Israel. The big gospel picture is the elect are scattered but across it, but the world. All people though? Okay, so you believe only Israelite need apply for the gospel application. It's a mystery. Israel scattered among You believe all it's just like when you try to get a job and you're a felon, people you can't get that job. You believe if you're a Gentile, you can't get into the kingdom, right? Well, what's, what's there's, no, there's no such thing as Gentiles. Uh, there's no such thing. What do you mean by that? Because the word Gentile is not in the real Bible. Oh, the word nations, that's not. Ethnos, right. That means Israel the scattered among right. the nations. Right, yeah, but see, yeah, right. the thing is, when it talks about Jew and Gentile alike, it clearly means two different type of people. It doesn't mean no. Israelites in the Gentile state of mind. Romans 11 said the, the olive tree and the wild olive tree, yeah, yeah. they're both olive trees. Because you got the olive tree. No, you're grafted that's, in. That's you're in the grafted garden. In. But it's a wild olive tree. Did it say the olive tree and the pear tree? Nah. Did it say the olive tree and the apple it tree? Does, but the, it doesn't uh, mean they're both Israelites. It means they're both the, of the elect. It does say they're Israelites. See, Israelite. you're this close. No, the it does say. The problem is where the Bible's talking about the elect, you make it only Israel. That's why I can't Here's no the picture you mentioned. The elect are comprised of Jew and Gentile. What did Romans 11 say, bro? It said a lot of things. Let's get it. Let's get it. Wait, wait. I want to know what's wrong with the laws. I didn't say those laws. I said they can't save you. They can't save you? Why aren't you keeping the laws? I believe through Christ I do keep the laws. You ain't eating bacon, bro. Yes, sir. Through Christ you keep the laws. All right, you want to go there? Hey, you got those. By his example. Guess what? I'm looking at your gear. You got mixed fabric on, my friend. You got mixed fabric okay. on. We know okay. that. So you ain't keeping okay. the law by that standard. Okay. Why you got your hat so on? Why you just coming out? Why you got your head covered? Oh, got your head covered. That's, your head covered. Covered. that's yeah. in the new testament. Covered. See, that's the new testament. What you got your head covered? What's coming out? It ain't cloud, even. Man. That's nah. not even. Nah, Let me he's ask not, you this. Let me ask you this. What's the big, the big two, right? Sabbath keeping and circumcision, right? What does Paul say about circumcision under the new covenant? It availeth. Nothing. But what happened when Paul went to council with Peter over circumcision? But does circumcision avail you anything now? Who's the head of the church? If circumcision don't avail you nothing, I can surely wear my hat. Well, do you believe my order? <laughs> well, we going back of to course, my so, friend. So who, who's the head of the church? Peter. Christ. Peter. Right. No, Christ. No. Who there got, you, there okay, you go. Who got the keys? Top. Who got Sound the like keys? like a good Roman Catholic. Who did he give it's the keys Christ. to? It's Christ. It's Christ. But he gave the keys to Peter. Hold on, man. What are the keys? Hold on. Let these scriptures come out, man. Let me read this. Out, man. This is Romans 11. Now listen, listen, listen. This Christ. 
No. Listen. That ain't my Jesus. You Who can have him. You can have him on your sign all day, every day, my friend. So what color was Jesus? The Arab? The Bible don't say what color Jesus was. <laughs> okay. But if I had to Wrong. guess, I would say he's a dark skinned man. If I had to guess. guess all right. It. So you just admitted it. Look, here's so what, if he was he, a dark skinned hey, man. Hey, what's the Bible say? Avoid foolish speculation. Nah, bro. It matters. Y'all love though. foolish speculation, though. It matters, so, though. It tells you, tell you, you don't want to speculate, it tell you the truth. If it matters, like, why don't you say? Because how you supposed to give hope to the people if, when they had the actual descendants from Israel? trying to get in, but it ain't going to happen. Wait, wait. Hold up. Wait, wait. Let's go with that logic. I just heard what you just said. You saying it matters the Christ you perceive him to be a black man, correct? You saying it matters for Israel so they can identify? Of course. Well, do you identify with Christ? Because I you know, don't look like him, then do you now? That's because I know the scriptures. Now come on. I got that See, swag. I'm cool with it though. I got swag. I know I'm an Israelite. Oh, then okay. If that's the case, let's talk about his swag. It does talk about us. <laughs> we can get to that. Christ too. has swag, therefore you he can identify. Swag. What about the square Israelites? They can't get down. Let come me on. read scripture, Because he bro. said it's about swag. I'm just going with what he's saying. He said he got. He I'm saying because there's plenty of square get Israelites. Wrong with, get wrong with eight and fourteen. Every Israelite ain't cool by your definition. Listen, listen. True. No, it is. I'm saying if it's swag, go with the swag. It's like you ain't cool. But you saying? <laughs> well, I'm talking I'm about like you ain't cool. My, hey, do I preach the gospel to please man? Do yes, I preach yeah, the gospel yeah. to please yeah, man? Exactly. Exactly. Do I? Now nah, you. Yeah, you do. No, no I don't. So I'm worried about cool. Ain't trying to please man. Your perception. My perception straight. Put your black glasses on, man. What you hiding? What? You got sunglasses on? What is this? Y'all playing the dust things instead of preaching the gospel. Y'all playing the dust instead of preaching the gospel. Cause you know why you play the dust things? Cause you don't know the gospel. You know the dust things. You don't know the twelve. You know the dust things. That's what I'm saying. Let's simmer down. Let the scriptures come out. Every time he tries to read one, you run your mouth. Here you go. There's always one. Let's, let's, always one. let's simmer you down. Wanted, you want it. You want it. Go ahead, man. Bring the scriptures out, man. Let's go to, if you no, want to do the scripture, let's go to let's one, one you ain't familiar one. with. Let's get order. Let's have some yeah, order. No, he can't keep order. We, it get we too wild order. out here. Order, right. Listen, I got you. this. Listen. Romans 11. Now listen. 11 to 24. For if that were cut out the olive tree, which is wild by nature, because the northern kingdom, is that not wild? Worship them by how and putting Ooh. groves and Christmas trees up in your temple. Ooh. Do you you celebrate Christmas too, don't you? I ain't worried about Christmas. Oh, they ain't worried about Christmas. That's by our worship. Don't judge another man by his feast. With groves, days. you can't, but you can't. Don't judge another on, man by his feast. What, what, is, what, what, is, what is the grove represent? Y'all read Colossians? What does the grove represent? The grove is for real. It's Asherah. Right? It's Asherah. The, the goddess. You saying the Asherah poles? The Asherah poles are Christmas tree. So That's I, where that comes from. Say Christmas uh, is a holy day. I, I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Nah, y'all missing cultural. Y'all missing cultural uh, practices with scripture. Nah, because the Vikings that the yule tree go all the way back to. Check this out, man. You know, in the first Corinthians eight, you could actually eat meat sacrificed to idols. Paul allows liberty. Well, no, he does say that. I know that. Hold How on. do you define liberty of Christ? We know that. We know that because. How do you define it though? That's like if we go to our grandma's house on Thanksgiving. We're not going to condemn a brother because he ate Thanksgiving dinner with his grandma. You getting food and you spending time with your family. Well, not every camp agrees with you on that. Well, no, right. they mostly yeah, do. Yeah, they, but they may eat it, but they ain't eating everything that's on that plate, right. though. That we table, ain't though. no pork and no ham. Ham and no shit. No honey you know, baked ham. Right, right. And no, right. no pig toes. Got the greens with bacon in it. Right, yeah, bacon. <laughs> you know they put bacon in it. But let me finish this. Let's not get off track. It's all about track. being wise, man. Yeah, it's all about balance. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like you want to talk about the law? The Lord said that uh, the scribes and Pharisees omitted the weight of your matters of the law, which is judgment, mercy, and faith. Right, there you go. So that's we all about mercy. But listen, for, uh, for if thou wert cut out the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were graft contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these, which be the natural branches, be grafted into their own olive tree? See, into their own olive It's both olive trees. They're going to get rock tacked. Brought, brought back into the, the garden. What's that called? Into the uh, into the right, the grove, the real grove. It says wild by nature. Wild by nature. The, uh, the northern tribes are wild, bro. Listen. For I would now listen. This is important. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Now, what is a mystery? The mystery of the gospel is that until this time. The gospel had not been revealed as a no, Gentile. No, but what does the word mystery mean? Something yet unrevealed. Unrevealed, right? Mysterious. Very mysterious, right? No, it just means un unrevealed. It means mysterious. It's mysterious until it's revealed. Okay, it's been revealed to the servants yes, of Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Who loose the seals? Okay. Keep it. Keep in mind, I got something for you. But see, there's so much. So you, you're talking about Romans to, to, to prove the point. Let's finish the rest of it. Who was Romans written to? To the Israelites in Rome. So why does Paul say, my kinsmen according to the flesh? 
Israel. Israel. Why, why, Israel. Are why are you talking Israel. about all their brothers? He is the Israelite. He the kinsmen according to our flesh. And that was no, written to the Romans. The, the Church of Rome was by and large not even a uh, was not even a, a, Gentile, so a Jewish we, congregation. We, 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 nah, that Romans letter is mainly written to a Gentile church. What so, kind of alphabet did the Romans use? What kind of alphabet? Alphabet. Latin alphabet. Latin. But where does it come from? Alphabet. What does that mean? Well, alpha is a Greek word that means primary. But where does that come and from? Beta, bet means That's Hebrew, beta. bro. Alpha, beta. Alpha, alpha means a thousand. Alpha. Bet means house. That's, that's, that's not, Hebrew. That's, that's not Alphabet is Hebrew. Alpha, gamma, delta. Those are Greek letters. That's it's Hebrew. Greek. No, the left is Hebrew. different than alpha. So where did the Greek... they sound like don't well, mean they well, the same. Where did the Greeks say they got the alphabet from? Of course, the Greek mythology. Well, I mean, it goes back to Crete, where they came from. Not Crete. Didn't they, they, they tell the you they Greeks got came it from islands they say, over there, They probably. said they got it from Phoenicia, which oh, is that's in Israel. where everybody's language came from. No, it's Hebrew, bro. Bro, Phoenicia's not Israel. It's like modern-day Iraq. Yeah, when it's, it's Hebrew. It's not Israel. It's Hebrew. Ancient well, where Phoenicia, is Phoenicia located? Ancient Phoenicia is primarily modern-day Iraq. Where's it located? Iraq. Primarily, yes. Iraq. That's where Babylon is. What's Tyree inside of? That's Those Iraq. Are, where did he go? Come on, bro. Listen. That's not Iraq, that's... Come on, bro, you gotta step your game up. Listen. Well, no, I, just because I don't know where Tyree and Sidenoc, don't mean I don't know where everything is. That's very important. <laughs> okay, wait, is ancient Phoenicia in Iraq or not? No, listen. Ancient ancient Iraq is Babylon. That's the... Uh, and where is Babylon? That's, that's the Kushites. That's the kingdom of Kush. It don't go way down south there the way you know is because... No, the kingdom of Iraq, ancient Babylon's kingdom of Kush. Yeah, don't that's go where, down there. Like Nimrod was a Kushite, the Tower that's of Babylon. That's true, but that isn't. That, that, okay, the, the ethnicity is different than geographical location. Listen, bro, let me finish so, this. So, Nimrod being a Kushite doesn't mean that the Kushite Empire. Right. We all find a rabbit like. trail. Let's get back on this. Let's get back on the main path. For I will not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery. Right. Lest you should be wise in your own conceit. Right. That blindness. In part, it's happened to Israel. Yeah. Blindness has happened to Israel. And so what's happening to make so Israel what happens, jealous? So what happens if you're blind? That means you don't know you're an Israelite. Now listen. No, 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 that is not what that means. That's exactly Give what Give me a means. precept. Hold up. Stop lost right here. You believe in precepts. Lost sheep. Stop right here. The lost sheep. Let's stop. Let's, stop. Let's check the name. It's like the new shoes. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. wait. Let's fact check what you just said. You, you just I got said you, I got blind you, I got being defined in the scripture is that you don't know you're Israelite. Show me that in the text. I got the you. Lost, I got no, no, I got don't, you. don't spit your rhetoric. I got Show you. me in the text. Stop talking. It says blind.